Good morning, my dearest friends, and welcome to this Sunday's Reflection. The theme of our reflection today is Christ the King. Today we celebrate the solemnity of Christ, the universal King. Who is the King? In our understanding, humanly, a King is one who wields authority, who controls, who subdues, who enlarges, his domain. But that is not the kind of king that we talk about. Christ the King is the king who wants to have our heart, who wants to win our love. The greatest problem of man and woman is the problem of rejecting God. We have rejected God to the extent of crucifying him on the cross. As we hear in the gospel today, from the gospel of St. Luke chapter 23, from verse 35 through to 43. But ironically, the same means of rejection, the cross, becomes the means of our salvation. The crucifixion that we thought would bring about hatred it was a sign of love. And so when we celebrate Christ the King, we are celebrating love, the one who can go extra mile, the King who sacrificed everything, including his life for you and I. Can your King do that? Can any King do that? Only the King of the universe. Jesus Christ has done that and he continues to invite you and I to tell us that he loves us. He wants us to have peace. He wants us to enjoy his love so that justice, holiness will reign. And these are the values of the kingdom of Christ. And so as we celebrate this holiday, my dearest brothers and sisters, let us not fall into the temptation of putting any other thing at the center of our world. There was a time the earth was considered to be the center of the universe and everyone wants to conquer every part of the world. And thereafter, the philosophers came to tell us that man is at the center of the world, beginning with René Descartes. But today, the problem of man continues. And the only solution is the acceptance of God, the acceptance of Christ as King over your life and over my life. Only then can we enjoy the peace, the happiness, the well-being that God desires for you and I, here on earth and also hereafter. So my brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this Christ the King Sunday, let us ask the Lord to grant us the grace to remain faithful to the values of this kingdom, to claim ourselves as members of this kingdom, so that we too will become instrument of reformation, incarnating these values in our various dimensions of life. And may the Lord continue to bless us and grant us this grace to Christ our Lord. God bless you. Thank you.